Hello, let's take another example of uh, completing the square. The question is x square plus 6x is equal to minus 1. First, let's write this question in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So the question will become x square plus 6x plus 1 is equal to 0. So we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to 6, and c is equal to 1. Now in completing the square, the b, the half of the b is 3, and the 3 square is 9. So we are going to add and subtract this value here. So x square plus 6x plus 9 minus 9 plus 1 is equal to 0. Now we have to make, we have to separate this and this one. This is the most important part. Now x square plus 6x plus 9 This is x square plus 2 multiply 3x plus 3 square. Minus 9 plus 1 is minus 8 is equal to 0. So this can be written as x plus 3 square is equal to 8. So x plus 3 is equal to root 8 that is plus minus to root 2. So x is equal to minus 3 plus 2 root 2 and x is equal to minus 3 minus 2 root 2. That is the answer. Well, another example is x square minus 3x minus 5 factorize using completing the square. So compare it with the ax square plus bx plus c. We know that a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 3, and c is equal to 5. So b over 2 is equal to minus 3 over 2. Then b over 2 square will be 9 over 4. So we add and subtract 9 over 4. So it will be x square minus 3x. We always add this first. 9 over 4. And then we subtract 9 over 4 plus 5. is equal to 0. Now we make two groups. First is this. And second is the remaining one. So this is, we know that this is x minus 3 over 2 square. And this will be minus 9 plus 20 over 4 is equal to 0. So x minus 3 square is equal to, so it will be 20 plus 19, that is 29 over 4. So x minus 3 is equal to root 29 over 2. So x is equal to 3, that is a plus minus, so 3 plus root 29 over 2 and 3 minus root 29 over 2. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel.